What's up CG family? Welcome back to another episode of Car Gang. Where today we are gonna continue working on the 350Z. Today's video is gonna be a little bit of solo because Grant wants to go to some sort of shooting range. So let's get right into the 350Z. Peace out Grant. <laughs> Wake up the whole neighborhood, why don't you? So he is about to leave. I need to find my floor jack. Let's go hunting for my floor jack. Peace out. <laughs> there it is. In the enchanted Mustang he goes. And I will be jacking up my car in the middle of the street. Call me if you need anything. Yeah. Actually, never mind, there's no cell service. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, let's get to work, you guys. Do y'all like the socks and sandals look, by the way? I don't know, I think it's really comfortable, so I like it. I was about to get straight to work, but if you guys are new to the channel, let me just give you a quick look at the 350Z. This is what it looks like. The wrap is a matte blue from Metro Restyling. Got a couple things on it. We are gonna continue to work on it. Oh, also, if you guys are new to the video, let me show you something, so. I did heat treat these headers. No, I didn't just spray paint them to look like hot Cheetos. It was actual VHT header ceramic paint. We shall see how well they work once I install them. But now, what do we have to do today to this 350Z? Basically, this e-brake barely functions. I lift it up all the way and my tires are still rolling. So there's a little um, spindle gear that needs to be readjusted in the rear um, side of the rotor and brake assembly and that's what we're gonna do one of the first things I'm gonna do is have my e-brake to the certain position I basically like I'm just gonna bring it down and I think that's pretty good to where it should be tight enough where it wouldn't roll back I am on a flat surface so that is why it's not rolling back but in this case if it was at this level it, it would be rolling back right now <sighs> I ramble way too much and I'm so sorry. <laughs> but now let's get to jacking up the rear of the car. I'm gonna set you guys right there. First things first, grab some coffee. So we're gonna loosen up the lug nuts just a tad bit before we actually jack up the car. See, do you guys see how my car's already rolling back? That is not good. Just like that. Star pattern, don't forget. Now we will be jacking up the car. Man, my side splitters are kind of in the way, but I think they'll do. It's a little bit windy, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly where the e-brake adjustment like spindle is. It is right behind this rubber piece right over here. You can take the whole rotor and obviously the caliper to adjust it, but you can also do it through here and just try to fit a tiny flat head there and just readjust it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I can just expand the e-brake around it and I will also have to do that to the other side. Should come off just like that. I just realized I have to rotate this whole rotor um, so this is pointed upwards. I need a good rock to hold the car up in case it does start falling and rolling backwards. Uh, woo! How do you do this before the car starts rolling? All we have to do is readjust it and do the same thing to the other side. I'm about to watch a quick YouTube video because I don't know which way it's supposed to go. Um, I think it's supposed to go upward, flicked one upward on the splindle to expand the actual shoe, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna watch a video. Me watching a YouTube video. Okay, so if you press down, it expands it. I'm almost there. I'm just gonna put the rubber back on and put the tire back on and then try to rotate the tire and see if it moves at all. Um, then I will readjust it depending on that. Now, where did that rubber go? Dang. Pop this back on. Eh. Looks like it needs to be done some more. A lot of people did say it's a lot of trial and error and I agree with them. You just gotta play around with it a little bit. It's not a whole lot of trial and error, but it's just a tad bit. Because now it's time to do the other side. Need to grab. 
this. You guys already know this side is basically the same, so I'm probably gonna do this side and not record it real quick because same deal. I'm gonna turn it downwards two more ticks so that the e-brake is strong enough um, in regards to both sides so they're even. Alrighty, so quick tools. Let's loosen up the lug nuts real quick and then jack up the car. There we go. I knew I heard Grant. Okay, there was literally, do you guys see him? He's literally right there. Um. Your VV. So I just finished up this side, and what we're not gonna do is forget the rubber cap. So I'm putting it on, and I'm recording it. So I managed to put on that little rubber cap, like literally. Let's get it to focus real quick. Literally, like in between the spokes of the wheel, it's like all the way in there. I used my little tiny fingers to just kind of smudge it in there, and then I tightened up all the lug nuts, and we're good to go. Um, it really isn't meant to be a tutorial, but if it helps anyone, then that's more than awesome. A bird just pooped in my car. All right, let's go quickly test out the. Oop, I still have more to clean. Yikes, Christina. All right, let's grab these real quick. But I'm gonna be quickly testing out the e-brake and driving the car just to the parking lot and lifting up the e-brake and hopefully it engages a little bit quicker once I lift it up. But we will find out shortly. Man, I really gotta clean this place up after I put my car away. But let's go quickly in the 350Z right over here and start it up and go park it. Did I just open up my trunk? Wow, come on. All right, let's go. E brake down. Ah, all right. Nice. I should have put it in first gear. I don't know why I didn't do that. Grant just saw me through the window. He's like, where the f are you going? But I just have to turn my car around real quick. There's Grant right there. He's like, what are you doing? Hey, yeah, you're good. I just finished too. <laughs> oh, I thought you need my help. Yeah, I did, but I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> what do you need help with? I'm all good now. You finished? Yeah. You don't want me to help? I'm all good. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna go park it. Okay. Peace out. All right, let's take it out of gear. Let me test out this. I think it. Fe I think it feels pretty good. I think I feel pretty good about it. We did it, guys. High five, we fixed it together. Shutting down. So I did order some new inner fender liners for the front of the car because both of them are missing. And I think after that, that completes like, oh, and the door latch. So I did order another door cable for the passenger side. And after we fix those, the header installation video will be coming and also rewrapping the car so stay tuned for that i'm more than excited i also am gonna order new um intake filters and yeah so i'm really excited hope you guys enjoy thank you for watching oh don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're still watching just do it right now and comment down below if you are ever considering getting a 350 as your project car or daily i'd really like to know all right peace out <laughs>